back. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy. For today's video, honestly, this is quite delayed with this kind of situation going on. But nevertheless, it does not make it any less important to ensure that you're keeping yourself safe and protected. So for today's video, I'm going to show you three different ways to create and design your own customizable masks. So the cool thing about this is I'm going to be using very accessible materials so you can get them just by digging through your closet. Okay, so while I was filming this video, I was thinking to myself how I should customize the masks to look like. And then I got a text from my friend saying that today is April 25th and I'm filming this at 7 p.m., which means exactly one day from now, tomorrow, at this time, I'm supposed to be at the Levi Stadium, you know, just having the time of my life at the BTS concert with floor seats and sound check. But of course, COVID-19 just crept up like that and that's not happening anymore. So instead, I'm going to be commemorating the memories that were supposed to be made on this day by making BTS themed or BTS inspired face masks as if I were to go to their concert on this day. So before we get started with creating these masks, I first really want to emphasize how important it is every time you're going outside that you're not only protecting yourself, but you're keeping others safe. I know that there's this stigma of wearing masks out in the public. I know a lot of people are telling me that I don't want to wear a mask because it's ugly and it doesn't match my style. But first of all, wearing a mask doesn't only protect yourself, but you're also ensuring that other people aren't exposed to the risk of contracting the virus. Second of all, hopefully through this video, I want to show you all how easy it is for you to customize and personalize your own mask so that it does look good and it doesn't look ugly and you can just rock it out in the streets. Oh, and also I know that for California, the shelter in place is going to be lifted starting May 1st. So especially during times when people are roaming around and you're going outside, that would be the prime time for the virus to be spread around and contracted. So it just makes it more important and imperative for you to make sure that you're wearing your masks outside. And I know that this is technically a non-surgical mask design, but honestly, wearing something is better than not protecting yourself at all. You can also get more protection by wearing this mask over another one, so you can still have that style. All right, let's just create these masks. Okay, so to start off with the materials you'll need, I'm going to be using these t-shirts. You can literally just grab these from your closet. As for the elastic band to keep the mask around your ear, I know a lot of y'all don't have elastic, I know I don't, so some other items you may use as an alternative. You can use hair ties, you can always use anything like the strap from a cami top or anything around your house that has that stretchy elastic feel to it. So the first mask I'm going to be making is a very basic design. It's your typical rectangle mask with the little folds in it, and I'm going to be using this gray t-shirt. So starting off, I'm going to be using my scissors to cut straight across the body of the t-shirt, so I'm left with this rectangular chunk. Then I'm going to cut off the bottom edge of the t-shirt, fold it in half so I'm left with two squares, and then I'm going to cut off the edges just so they're even and straight. And then finally, I'm going to cut that square in half so I'm left with two rectangles to work with. I'm just going to be using one for now. And then here is my really funny tomato pin holder and what I'm going to do is on the raw edges that I pointed out here, I'm going to set them with pins and then I'm going to just sew them together with my sewing machine just so the edges look nice and clean. Now I'm going to try it on my face just to make sure the measurements work. So I cut off the excess and this is good. Now I see that there are still some raw edges and I want them to look clean, so I'm folding over the edges, pinning them down with pins, and then sewing them on my sewing machine. Now this is the part where we create the folds. As you can see here, I'm grabbing one part of the layer and folding it over the other. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's kind of like folding dumplings. And I'm going to pin that down. So for this mask, I'm just going to use two folds. And you can see here, this is what it should look like. <laughs> 
And then at the end, you should be able to scrunch it up like a fan or an accordion. I'm gonna create the two slots to slip the elastic in. To create the elastic band, I'm just going to take a strip of the t-shirt that's left over from before, and all you need to do is stretch it. Now I'm going to create the little slots for the elastic band. As you can see, I'm just measuring it and then pointing it out where I'm going to sew. Because this mask design just has so many layers, it's really hard for my sewing machine to take it all in, so I'm I'm just going to hand sew this together. Now the mask is pretty much finished, all you need to do is measure the straps by just trying it on and making sure that it fits nice and snug. Okay, so I just finished my first one and honestly this one is so comfortable like I honestly feel like I'm being tucked in to bed it feels like a blanket almost now on to the second design honestly this design is very similar to the first one but it's better if you have an elastic to use so I'm going to be using two of my hair ties as the elastics now I'm going to fold over the raw edges to have a clean edge like I did before. I'm going to cut off the excess and then using my hair tie I'm going to measure the length of the slots. So as you can see I'm just folding over the fabric with the elastic band in it and then I'm going to stitch it together. And now we're done with making the base of the mask. Now on to actually customizing the masks. For this design, it's album inspired, specifically the Love Yourself album with the like squiggly heart and the squiggly flower. I wanted to integrate like a heartbeat design into it, so that's why I'm adding these squiggly lines in the middle. So my method of embroidering is kind of like a normal stitch except every time you go under, you want to stick the needle in between the two threads. It's kind of hard to explain, but if you look in my clip very closely, you can see that the needle kind of divides the two threads threads and then I'm just going to go along the line that I created. I actually thought that I would use white embroidery thread on this gray mask but halfway through I thought it didn't really match and so I actually am going to save this design for later. So for the other gray mask I'm actually going to be using fabric paint. This is non-toxic so hopefully that'll be fine. So this is going to be inspired by the new album and I'm going to be painting something that's black swan themed so I'm just freehanding a black swan using black fabric paint and then using white paint to accentuate some of the highlights <music> And then in addition, I'm going to be painting a large black feather, kind of to complement the swan. So once again, I'm just freehanding it and using my fabric paint to just paint it on. So this is the final product and honestly I really like the simplicity of it. I didn't want to add anything else in the white space. I feel like that would make it too busy. I feel like this one's kind of elegant and especially with the paint effect on it, it seems even more just artistic and delicate. 
Honestly, I feel like the mask fit is kind of weird compared to the other masks I've made, but I feel like partially it has to do with the length of the elastic band not being as adjustable, but overall, I think it's pretty cute. So for the final design, I'm going to be using this black t-shirt and I'm going to freehand the parts actually. So I'm going to link a template below for you to use, but I just, for the sake of time, just freehanded it with a chalk. So you need two pieces of this shape that I just traced, as you can see here. So I'm just going to cut out the shape that I'm tracing out here. To assemble the two parts, you want to make sure that the right sides are together and you want to just sew along the curve to connect the two sides first. So remember that design I said that we'd use later? So I'm going to be using it right now. I thought it looked really nice with a half black, half white mask. After sewing together the curve, which is the middle of the mask together, I'm going to be pinning down the edges and then sewing it to get a clean edge. It's pretty much what I did with the past two ones, except this one has a curved edge. Now very similar with the past two designs to create the slit I'm just gonna fold over the edges and then just sew it. After inserting my t-shirt strip elastics I'm going to be embroidering the design. So I'm using white embroidery thread on the black side and then the black on the white side. Honestly, I got a little tired of just drawing the design on it beforehand, so all of this I just freehanded. But feel free when you're creating your design, it's probably safer to trace it over with a pencil or chalk. So this is pretty much the finished product. I also added a 7 in Roman numerals for 7 members to kind of fill up that white space a little bit. And then I just tried it on and this looks really edgy but also sleek. I don't know, it looks pretty cool. I really like how the embroidery effect makes it seem even more aesthetic in a way. So onto the final design, I'm going to be using the black mask that I made earlier. This is going to be Micro Cosmos inspired from the Map of the Soul Persona album. So I'm going to be using white non-toxic puffy paint. This is actually like kind of like 3D fabric paint, but it kind of adds dimension to the stars that I'm going to be dotting onto the mask. I'm going to be creating constellations, so essentially I'm just using white embroidery thread to connect the stars, adding a little bit of gaps between the stars and the lines of the constellation, but essentially I'm just connecting the dots. And then for a finishing touch, I just freehanded a cursive word that says shine for shine dream smile in the microcosmos lyrics and then in the end i also added a little planet and a star and that's all <laughs> Overall, I really liked how this one turned out. Honestly, I feel that it'd be even cooler if I used some kind of glow-in-the-dark string or glow-in-the-dark paint. If I actually wore this to a concert, that would be super cool. I feel that this is a mask that I'd be down to wear to a concert. Alright, 
so that concludes today's video thank you all so much for watching hope you all got some inspiration and stay healthy as always see y'all next time bye